In this session, we will discuss traveling salesman problem using dynamic programming approach as simple method. What is traveling salesman problem? The salesman has to start from one city that will be considered as source city or the starting city or vortex. Okay. So, from that city, he has to visit all other cities exactly what it wants and come back to the starting city. Here, the main objective is the total cost of the tour should be minimized so that the profit will be maximized. So, this is nothing but a traveling salesman problem. And in this problem, already we have discussed how to implement using dynamic programming approach tabulation method. Now, we are going to implement traveling salesman problem using dynamic programming approach as simple method using the state space tree. This is the given graph and corresponding adjacency matrix is given. And throughout the function, we are going to implement g of i, comma s is equal to minimum of j belongs to s, c i j plus g of j, comma s minus j. Okay, this is the function we are going to implement throughout the dynamic programming approach in traveling salesman problem. Okay. So now the traveling salesman has to start from one city that will be considered as the source city. Consider one as the source city. And if you are starting from source city in a sense, he had three choices. According to this given graph, he had three choices. He may visit vertex 2 or he may visit vertex 3 or he may visit vertex 4. Okay. So, he may visit vertex 2 or 3 or vertex 4. Okay, there are three choices. So, we need to find the cost for this one. So, if he is visiting vertex 2 in the sense, we will implement this function. That is C of 2, 1. That is cost to travel from 1 to 2 plus cost to visit the remaining vertices. G of currently he is visiting 2. After visiting 2, what is remaining? 3 and 4 is remaining. He has to visit 3 and 4. This cost we need to find. Okay. Similarly for this one, C13 plus currently he is visiting vertex 3 and he has to visit the remaining vertices 2 and 4. Okay. This is the cost we need to find. Similarly for vertex 4, currently he is visiting 1 to 4 plus G of after visiting 4, the remaining vertices is 2 and 3. Okay. And this cost we need to find. So, cost to travel from 1 to 2, cost is 10. Plus, this function we need to find. Similarly, 1 to 3, cost is 15. This cost we know. Okay. Plus, this cost we need to find. Similarly, 1 to 4, cost is 20. Plus, this one we need to find. Currently, the salesman has visited vertex 2. What is the remaining vertices? It may be 3 or 4. Okay. So, the choice may be 3 or 4. Okay. Similarly, currently he is visiting 3. What is the choice? It may be 2 or 4. Okay. Similarly, if he is visiting 4 currently in this sense, the remaining vertices will be 2 or 3. Okay. Similarly, we will implement the cost function for the source. So, this cost is C223. Okay. C223 plus G of currently he is visiting 3. After visiting 3, what is remaining? Started from 1, already visited 2. Now, he is visiting 3. After visiting 3, what is remaining? Is and similarly, here if you are considering cost to travel from 2 to 4, C to 4 plus G of after visiting 4, what is remaining? 3 will be remaining. Already visited 2. Okay, so 3 is remaining. Similarly, here if you are considering cost to travel from 3 to 2 plus G of currently he is visiting 2 and what is remaining? 4 is remaining. Okay. Similarly, here if we are considering cost to travel from 3 to 4 plus G of 4 comma, what is remaining? 3 already visited, so 2 is remaining. Okay. Similarly, for this one, C of cost to travel from 4 to 2 plus G of currently he is visiting 2, what is remaining? 3 will be remaining. Okay. Similarly, here if we are considering cost to travel from 4 to 3. C 4 3 plus G of currently he is visiting 3. And what is remaining? 2 is remaining. Already visited 4. Now he is visiting 3. 
So two is remaining. Okay. And here we are considering this cost under V mode. And this function cost we need to find out. Okay. So C223 cost is 9. C224 cost is 10. C322 cost is 13. And C324 cost is 12. C422 cost is 8. And C423 cost is 9. Okay. So next we have to implement for this function. So the salesman started with city 1. Visitor 2 and visitor 3. Next remaining city he has to visit is 4. Okay. And here also 2, 4. Remaining city is 3. And here the remaining city is 4. And here the remaining city is 2. And here the remaining city we are considering 4, 2, 3 is remaining. And here the remaining city is 4, 3, 2 is remaining. Now implement this function. That is cost to travel from 3 to 4. So C3, 4 plus G of currently he is visiting 4. And what is the remaining city? No other city. 1 he has started. 2 already visited. 3 already visited. Now he is going to visit 4. What is remaining? Nothing is remaining. So 5. Okay. Similarly here if you are considering in the sense C43 plus G of currently he is visiting 3. After visiting 3, no other vortex to be visited. No other new vortex to be visited. Similarly, here if you are considering C224 plus G of currently he is visiting 4 and the remaining city nothing. Similarly, here cost to travel from 4 to 2. C42 plus G of 2 comma after visiting 2 nothing. Similarly, here if you are considering cost to travel from C23 plus G of after visiting 3 nothing is remaining. This is cost to travel from C32 plus G of after visiting 2 nothing is remaining. So now this cost under we know. We will fill from this adjacency matrix. So C324 cost is 12 plus C423 cost is 9 and C224 cost is 10 and C422 cost is 8 and C223 cost is 9. C322 cost is 13. Now we need to find this function value. And if you are considering the salesman has started from the starting vertex. He has visited 2, 3, 4. All other vertices in the given graph exactly he has visited only once. And what he has to do next? He has to return back to the starting city. So he need to return back to the starting city. From here also he need to return back to the starting city. All other cases he has to return back to the starting city. And what is the cost to travel? That is this one is C4 one and this one is C31 and this one is C41 and this one is C21 and this one is C31 and this one is C21 and these cost and are we already know. Okay, we will fill from this matrix. C4 to 1 cost is 8. C3 to 1 cost is 6. C4 to 1 cost is 8 and C2 to 1 cost is 5. C3 to 1 cost is 6. Okay, 3 to 1 cost is 6. C2 to 1 cost is 5. And here if we are considering, we know the value, we know the cost from the last level. So, this we have to implement here. Okay, that is 12 plus 8. So, what is the cost he will get it here? That is 20. This is 9 plus this function value was 6. So, he will get 15 and 10 plus 8, that is 18 and 8 plus 5. So, he will get 13 and 9 plus 6. So, totally he will get 15 and 13 plus 5, that is 18. Now, this function cost we know, we implement to the previous level, that is 9 plus this one is 20 and here we will get 29 and 10 plus 15 we will get 25 and 13 plus 18 here we will get 
31 and 12 plus 13 here we will get 25 and for this one it is 8 plus value was 15 here we will get 23 and here 9 plus this cost value was 18 so we will get 20 7. Okay. And now this function value we know. Implement to the previous level. Okay. So while implementing previous level if you are considering after visiting 2 there are 2 choices. It may be 3 or 4. What is their objective here? The salesman has to choose the city. The cost should be minimum. So here there are 2 choices among these 2 which cost is minimum that we have to consider. We have to consider 25. 25 is minimum. So, 10 plus 25 here we will get 35. Okay. Similarly, here among these two, which one is minimum? 31 or 25? 25 is minimum. Okay. So, 15 plus 25 here we will get 40. Okay. Similarly, here if you are considering among these two, which one is minimum? 23 is minimum. Okay. So, 20 plus 23, here we will get 43, okay. So, among these three, if you are considering, we have to choose the minimum, minimum cost, okay. So, among these three, if you are considering, minimum cost is 35. So, 35 is the minimum cost to, what is the optimal path? That is, 1 to 2, then here which one we have implemented this path. So, 2 to 4, okay, and 4 to 3, and 3 to 1. And this path, if you are considering, this is the optimal path, that is 1 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 3, 3 to 1, okay. And the cost here is 35. Optimal tour is 1 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 3 and 3 to 1. And the total cost to travel here is 35 which is the minimum cost to travel. Okay. And the salesman will choose this path only so that he will maximize his profit. Okay. So, this is nothing but traveling salesman problem using dynamic programming approach, a simple method using like a state space free. So, if you are considering here, this is very easy and clear to understand pictorially, okay, compared to the previous tabulation method. But actually, in exams and all, you have to implement the tabulation method. For understanding purpose, consider the simplest. Thank you for watching this video.